Hello everyone, I'm Amit from Mail Smartly. How to mail merge in Outlook using Word and Excel as a source? First of all, what is mail merge? Suppose we think of it that when an insurance company send you a due premium notification, they customize your premium bill with your name, your address, premium amount, due date, and etc. I want to show you how you can do that similar to that. Let's say you need to send an envelope. Let's say you need to send a letter or maybe you need to send an email. Each individual has customized information that you want to include. So let's jump to my screen. As we have started here, I have opened a Word file. Currently, I am using Office 365. It may be a chance that it, this function will work on 2019, 2016, 2013 as well as in 2010. I have opened both the Excel as well as Word file and arranged side by side. So I have already created an Excel file which consists of first name, last name, a due date of the payment of the premium, premium number or your policy number and the email address. I have used a common email address to show you, you can change according to your requirement. Now I have to create a message which I have already created a sample message for you. And I have to simply connect this Excel file to this Word file. So I will show you why. So first of all, uh, I, show, uh, I have to open this mailing tab. So here, click on start mail message and here email message. Now again, click on start mail message. Click step by step mail merge wizard. When I click on it, a small wizard appears here. So you have to select use an existing list. In the bottom, use an existing list. Click here, select a different list. Now here you have to upload your Excel file already saved in your system. So I saved my file on the desktop. Here is my file. Select this, click open. This file is automatically connected with my Word file. So it will open, open it, select table. So I have already a single table, so it's automatically fetch that, uh, the sheet with it. And the, you have to click this checkbox, which is already by default selected first row of the date data connect column headers so i'll i already have my first row with the column headers simply hit ok now my excel sheet is connected with my word file now you will see my all four to five members are automatically fetched here you can simply select manually if you don't want to select this or this you can change by clicking your mouse clicking the mouse button simply hit ok now when i click on insert merge field all the headers automatically connected to the excel database so i will show you how it works so first of all i have to enter the first name and the last name of the person so after dear i have to click insert merge field click first name now give a, a space again click on insert merge field click on last name now, this is to inform you that your policy number. So I have to enter the policy number here. So I simply hit insert merge field and click policy number is due for payment on dated. So I have to enter the date, the due date of every person. So I select due date. Please make the payment as soon as possible regards mail smartly team. So everything is set here. Click on next, write your email message. If you have not already done, so write your email message now but i have already created my email message so i don't have to bother of this section again click next preview your email message now email message is previewed you can see the name of the person is automatically appears here his policy number his due date now you can cross check by clicking the next button you can check for every member see like that the name policy number and date for every member changes now click on the next complete your the, the merge now complete the merge mail merge is ready to produce your email message click on electronic mail as soon as i click on it your email to their respective email addresses will be sent very in few seconds see when i click here it will ask me merge to email message here the first option is two with the email address is already selected now the second option is subject policy premium payment the subject is common for everyone 
mail format i can change the mail format i can change it with it attachment plain text or html so i keep this html now send record to all now you can see the small flick here for every person it will take a few seconds and automatically these mails are forwarded to their email addresses so i will show you i will open my outlook i'll go to to the send items see mail sent to all the five members i have i have added my own email address so i receive all the five emails with the same subject and at the same time when you click on it you can see the separate message the first one the second one the third one the fourth one and the fifth one that way you can send email to different people with their different input data using mail merge in outlook word and excel i hope you found this video useful also if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe this youtube channel and also click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day